The National Policy on Education was launched in 1977. The aim of the policy is to ensure national efficiency and national unity aimed at achieving social, cultural, economic, political, scientific and technological development of the country. In 1985, the objectives of the policy were broadened to include free primary education among others. The structural pattern of education under the current policy is organized into a 6334 system. The system consists of six years of primary education, three years of junior secondary school, three years of senior secondary school, and four years of tertiary education. At the inception of the Obasanjo-led administration in 1999, a universal basic education scheme was launched. The specific targets of the scheme are total eradication of illiteracy by the year 2010 and increase in adult literacy rates from 57% to 70% by 2003. This policy was reviewed and extended to 2015 under former president Goodluck Jonathan. But with the expiration of the policy in 2015, the Minister of Education advocated a new strategic plan that will reposition the sector. While the world is producing knowledge professionals, as I tell you, we are grappling with students out of school at the primary, secondary, and at the tertiary level, we are only able to admit 17 to 18 percent of students who qualify. The director, Department of Educational Planning, Research and Development of the Federal Ministry of Education, highlights the focus of the strategic plan. We are faced with a myriad of problems in the education sector, among which are low access to basic education. We've had the long drawn and vexed issue of 10.5 million out of school children, depreciating quality of education over the years. Many children at basic level, they are in school but cannot read or write. The Minister of State for Education explains the mandate of the Ministry of Education and why a new strategic plan has become imperative. An assumption of office and with this mandate and vision before us, we saw the need to develop a roadmap for the education sector. This was more imperative as the last plan of the ministry ended in 2015. The new 2016 to 2019 strategic plan, which is being worked on by education experts, is expected to address issues of out-of-school children, teachers' education, adult literacy and special needs education, technical and vocational education, and training, among others.